It's been a while since we've been locked out here on TYT Sports. I figured I'd bring it back. No, I did not do this willingly. So now the big news from today off of 101greatgoals.com is that Juan Mata Sr., the dad, as you might guess, for Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, for Juan Mata, obviously with the Blues of Chelsea, his dad was in uh, Arsenal. He attended the arsenal Fenerbahce game, and uh, which Arsenal absolutely crushed them 5-0 on aggregate. Uh, they won the game 2-0 today at the Emirates. The big thing is that he was in the director's box for the Gunners. So now everyone is up in arms and saying, oh my God, Juan Mata is going to go to Arsenal, or he might go somewhere else, or he might go to Manchester United. Either way, someone pull the trigger and just take him already. He's, now, look, look, here's the thing. Chelsea claims that he is not up for the taking. He has 20 goals. He had 20 goals and 35 assists in all competitions last year for Chelsea. Now, here's the thing, and I'll relate it to the world of broadcasting. Basically, if you're a broadcaster and a guy brings you on who's, let's say, the program manager at a radio station, and he, he's in love with you, <laughs> he likes the work that you're doing, he vouches for you, and then he leaves, similarly to Chelsea, with Jose Mourinho now in charge. Their manager left, Jose Mourinho comes in, and, well, they have their own... Uh, uh, scheme. They have their own way of going about things. And basically, they don't like you. They want to replace you with someone that they like. That's exactly what Ma Juan Mata is going through right now. Similarly in a radio, if a program director comes in, he likes you, and then he's like, yeah, you know what? I want to go with someone else. I want to bring in my own guys. That's exactly what Juan Mata is going through. Meanwhile, he's been the best player for Chelsea the past two seasons in a row consecutively. Now, he hasn't started a single game this year. Granted that the season has not been going on for a long time, he hasn't started one game. Now, that's big also. Now, Jose Mourinho, basically, he, he's in love with uh, Fernando Torres for some reason. God help us all. Uh, he's also in love with Eden Hazard for good reason. He's in love with Oscar for good reason. And he's in love with Frank Lampard, of course, for very, very good reason. But now this all means that Juan Mata is the odd man out. Here's what you should do if you're Manchester United. You say, yeah, we'll give you Rooney. You can give us Mata, and you give us money in return. Now, the first thing is you offer Rooney for Mata, uh, or excuse me, you have Chelsea offer Mata for Rooney. You reject it if you united, and then you say, yeah, we'll do it, but you got to bring in some more dollars. you got to give us some more dollars. That's at least my take on it. Now, here's the thing, going back to the original first point that I made. Uh, there, there is a very credible reporter in France whose name is, and I will get to that in a moment, Julian Lorenz who tweeted Mata Sr. at Arsenal Fenner game, and he's sitting in the director's box. And then Rob Harris backed it up, tweeting five alive, says Mata's dad in Arsenal director's box. Now, granted, these trades rarely happen. And by the way, William is now set to join Chelsea, so Juan Mata is simply going down the totem pole as we speak. And Jose Mourinho also thinks that he's not fit enough to play 90 minutes. If he's been your best player the past two years, I think he could play 90 minutes for you. Maybe that's just me. So now the other big thing is we haven't even seen these direct trades happen necessarily. We saw Eto for Zlatan. We saw William Gallus for Ashley Cole. It's a rarity that these happen. Now the other big thing for Arsenal, going back to the Gunners out of the Emirates, uh, they, they have been in the rumor mill for at least the past four weeks and beyond, to infinity and beyond, Buzz Lightyear. And uh, the big thing is they want to try and make a double with Real Madrid for Angel Di Maria and Masut Ozil, or they just want to sign Ozil, one of the two. Or they want to sign Higuain, or uh, at least they wanted to. Or they want to sign Kareem Benzema. I mean, Arsenal is always going to be in there because they simply haven't made a splash yet. This would certainly be it. So now I asked you guys to chime in on the Twitter. Here's what you said. There's no way I'm going to say this. Uh, Uwan Walters tweets Eric Strong. Mata can't leave. He is far too valuable for Chelsea. Jose Mourinho won't let that happen. It looks like he will. Ding dong, tweets Eric Strong. Spain will benefit uh, this in World Cup 2014. Wenger is master of getting someone's full potential. Agree to disagree. Arminio sarcastically tweets, yeah, and so will I. Paulo Camaro says, although he seems to not be as favored as others by Mourinho, I doubt it. Him and Cazorla would be incredible together, though. Jose Chavez says, yeah, he should go. Maybe Arsenal could finally win a trophy. <laughs> ZJ says, Spurs are also interested in Mata and could possibly sign him. Wenger, I think, will end up getting Kabai instead of Mata. Ted Zhao tweets Eric Strom, I really can't see this happening. Mata is not just one of the best players in Chelsea, but the Premier League as well. 
Daniel Prentice, which I can't imagine Mourinho Abramovich would allow that to happen, but he'd be a superb signing. He and Santi together would dominate. I completely agree. Stephen Buckley had the tweet of the night. No, I reckon Wagner enjoys the hate he's getting for not buying anyone. And lastly, Connor Smallman, thinking in small margins, says not in a million years, and we don't need him anyway. All right, agree to disagree on that front as well. Now, it's not like Juan Mata doesn't have suitors. The reports that I've read are all Premier League clubs. I have read that he has, been inter has, has interest coming from Liverpool, Chelsea uh, and Spurs, uh, although one person chimed in on Twitter regarding Spurs' interest. I also read uh, online as well that they might be a potential suitor. So which team should he go to? Should he stay? Leave a thought in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to TYG Sports.